If I have a media library full of images and videos, I need to be able to have something to search on in order to make sure I can find the exact image and video I need. Now in this example here, I could search for the word sample and all these would probably come up, but if I want to search for something like a shoe or a flower, that's not going to help me if that's not anywhere within the media asset for me to search on. Now inside of our UI, we can certainly go to our metadata and add all the tags we want, including shoes. But to do this manually, especially if we have thousands and thousands of images, is going to take a long time for an actual person to do. So to help with common challenges like this, we can use Cloudinary add-ons, which give us a range of capabilities beyond what comes out of the box of Cloudinary. If we head over to the add-ons tab, we can see that we have a lot of options for the different add-ons available, including the different tagging options, such as the Google auto tagging and the recognition auto tagging. For our example, let's use the Google auto tagging add-on where we can see with just a little bit of code, we can add this capability to our uploads. So to start using the add-on, the first thing we wanna do is enable it. And while we have a lot of different options, I'm going to start off with the free tier, which is going to give us 50 monthly categorizations. And then I'm going to continue and click agree to the tagging service. Now that it's enabled for my account, I can start using it in my uploads. To see what this looks like, I have a simple uploader where if I click choose file and I select my image, such as this turtle, we can see I can scroll down and click upload files and it's going to upload it to Cloudinary and immediately make that available. Inside of my code, I'm using a node-based serverless function where the first thing I'm doing is initializing the Cloudinary node SDK. Once inside the function itself, I'm first parsing the body to grab the image data, and then I'm going to simply pass that to the Cloudinary uploader where I'm going to upload that image and pass back the results where we can see that I displayed it on the page. Now inside of those results, we can see that we currently have no tags for the image that we just uploaded. But we want to make sure that when we upload images, we're going to automatically tag it. So back inside of our code, we want to pass in additional configuration to our upload function. So we're going to pass in a second argument and we're going to start off with an empty object where I'm going to specify that I want my categorization to be Google underscore tagging. We can see that this is the same key and value that's passed in from the add-ons page. Then we're going to specify the key auto underscore tagging where if we look inside of the documentation, the auto tagging parameter is going to give us our minimum confidence score when it's detecting a category. So like the example, we're going to use 0.6. So in my code, I'm going to write 0.6. But once that new function is saved, I'm going to go ahead and choose a new file where I'm going to go ahead and select that same turtle, scroll down and click upload. But once we see the results pop up, we can now see that we have our tags array, but it includes a bunch of different tags that were automatically distinguished from the image that we uploaded. We can see all of our newly added tags inside of our media library by navigating to our image, where inside of our metadata, we can see all those tags that are describing that image, including hawksbill sea turtle, reef, wildlife, and underwater. And this will work for any image. So if I go ahead and select another one, such as this picture of a table with a bunch of tech on it, I'm going to go ahead and upload this image. And once the upload is complete, we can scroll down and we can see a bunch of the tags associated with it, which are a lot for this one, including computer, laptop. And we can see things like furniture, input device, a lot of things that we can search on inside of our media library. We can even see inside of the info field that we have the categorization information, including the confidence of every single one of those tags. But ultimately, this is helpful for being able to search for images within my media library, such as if I wanted to search for all images with a turtle, I can select that turtle tag and I can see all my images that include a turtle. So in review, if we want to make sure that we have a way to search for all the media assets in our library, we want to make sure that we have some kind of tagging mechanism in place. And to do that, we can use Cloudinary add-ons, particularly the Cloudinary Google auto tagging add-on, where we can automatically tag all of our images using Google Vision AI. Once we have the add-on enabled, we can add the categorization and auto tagging properties inside of our uploader configuration object where then anytime we upload with that method, we're going to get a list of tags that associate with all the different things inside of that image.